Welcome to Why Invest and thank you very much for joining us today. We've got five tips to thrive, five to thrive we're calling this and this is with our War Council helping us to get through these troubled times but don't worry ladies and gentlemen we've got the experts here. We have Michael Hart from Hart Accountants. Hello Michael. G'day Rosie. Thanks for joining us. We have Daniel Brown, CEO of Coastal Advice Group. Welcome aboard Dan. Good afternoon Craig. And we have Tom Haig, advisor and CEO of Capital Property in Newcastle. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Great to be here. Thanks, Rosie. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great opportunity that we're going to do on a regular basis just to keep everybody updated with all the changes that's happening right now as far as stimulus packages and you know economic life rafts. And I'm sure as, as small business people, there's so many people out there happy to hear this advice. So question for you Michael for the small business out there doing it tough there are a whole heap at the moment doing it tough what's the first thing you'd recommend they do to get some support oh Craig look I think the main thing they should do is, is keep in contact with their account and someone who's across their figures there's, there's as you said a heap of stimulus out there at the moment and knowing which way to jump and, and how to maximize what you're entitled to is, is pretty important um, so um, we need to keep lodging uh, in, in order to get these things that, that are on offer. Uh, your business activity statement lodgement is really important. So you don't want to put your head in the sand and go, oh, tough times, don't, don't do the things you normally do. But before you're doing them, talk to your account. Make sure you've got someone on your side that's, uh, that's guiding you through it. Um, I guess uh, have a really good continuity plan as well. I guess um, that's massive in terms of making sure that um, in worst case scenarios, how does the business continue to, to, um, to be there and, and making sure that it can provide for things you need. Um, and being pre prepared to pivot and be nimble. Um, I think they're the, the big things that you can get support from from your accountant or your financial advisor or whoever it is that you um, you know and trust that understands your business. That's probably the, the best advice at the moment. So Dan Brown, you're a, a financial planner through and through. You've got a raft of businesses there. So you would have seen a lot of people, I guess, coming to you to seek reassurance or maybe to be more strategic in their, in their approach. Um, tell us what you're seeing out there right now and how, how people can um, get the best advice. Yes, obviously, we've got people that have lost money, lost their income or lost their, you know, their ability to draw an income if it's self-employed. I think it's really important just to reach out and ask for support. There's heaps of options there, as Michael just sort of touched on, um, for business owners. And that's really going to flow through everyone from uh, seeking support of the stimulus packages through the individuals looking for, you know, you can turn your, your bank loan repayment off uh, on your mortgage for six months. Uh, it's a simple application process. And ideally, there's some rent assistance coming in as well. Um, so it's all hands on deck. There's lots of people that can help. Be careful who you're listening to. Uh, because not not everyone's giving the right information out and obviously uh, they p potentially have a hidden agenda as well. So Tom Haig, you're out there with Capital Property at the coalface. What's the feeling out there amongst uh, residential and commercial buyers? Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting market, Craig, and I guess it's certainly... Um, it, it, it certainly changed a lot in the last four weeks, you know, uh, turn, it, turn the clock back to the beginning of 2020 and things were really buoyant. We had a market that was really strong. Absolutely. There was uh, some really positive market sentiment. People were doing deals um, and, uh, and things, were, things were certainly on the up. Ultimately, what we're finding at the moment is, is people in many respects are frozen by fear. Um, uh, from an investment perspective, and rightly so. You know, we're encountering some uncharted waters and there's some risk and uncertainty around that. So that's, that's creating a situation where a lot of people just um, aren't doing anything um, from the, the purchaser's point of view, from the investor's point of view. I guess on the, um, on the vendor front, um, people who own property, um, there's probably people in two camps at the moment. Predominantly, um, the smart ones are doing exactly uh, what Dan and, and uh, Mick have advised people to do, which is to go out and seek some advice about how they can weather the storm, how they can mitigate the impact uh, of what's going on in their personal situation. And most of all, I guess, not to um, make panic decisions. I think the worst thing you can do at the moment is to, is to make a rush decision to, um, to, to do things without seeking out the right information, the right guidance. Yeah, a lot of panicking, knee-jerk reactions. 
um, people, I guess they need to get their advisors on board, um, like we have here to give them the best, best, you know, choices leading ahead. So, Michael, in response to the worsening economic situation, we've seen the government announce a raft of different initiatives and stimulus to support small business. Could you share with us the, the best options for, for those concerned with cash flow? Yeah, for sure. Um, but they're changing every day, Rosie. Um, so yesterday we uh, we had a seven point checklist to work through the best way to attack it. Today it's eight because they've, they've introduced another one last night, yeah. which is, is a really integral one. Um, but the big ticket items in terms of cash flow, um, this one that came out last night being the job keeper is a big ticket item, $1,500 per fortnight for, for those, uh, you know, both uh, sole traders as well as, as those employing staff. Um, and, uh, and that's a really big ticket item that we're, we're jumping on. Um, POG withholding, so that was, was one between, anywhere between 20 and 100 grand on offer to businesses over the coming uh, four to, uh, to six months. Um, and uh, the ability to, uh, to use the ATO a little bit as a bank in terms of getting back any POG instalments you've paid so far this year, and also in terms of deferring any payments owing to them uh, with no interest and so forth. So that's a big one. Um, I'll talk a bit more, I think, uh, in regard to loans. So there's a 250 grand loan on offer, payroll tax uh, exemptions for New South Wales and Queensland or deferrals, and, um, and the ability, like Dan just said a minute ago, to defer your, your bank loan. Um, and probably the last one as well, Centrelink, obviously, that not only are uh, the job keeper that was released yesterday, the $1,500, but there's also that ability for those um, on Centrelink benefits to, to, uh, to up what they were getting previously. Um, so just looking at all those in combination, as I said, everyone's different, so we can't say, oh, this is the one, but it, it, just tailoring that um, to your circumstance and getting everything you can reasonably get to, uh, to bolster your situation is where it's at. Yeah, I think the government's done a great job with these stimulus packages. They're probably a little bit soft at first. And, you know, there is a bit of a, a gap between you know, being able to help people immediately or having to wait for, you know, the 1st of May or whatever the case may be. But having said that, the, um, the JobKeeper initiative, which helps people if you've got your own ABN, um, just to, to explain to me a little bit more about that, say for, you know, a, my musician mates out there right now who are, who are sole traders on an AB and they maybe not have any staff, but how does that work? So they're absolutely eligible, Rosie. If you've got your own AB and you're a sole trader, um, you've just got to show that, uh, that your turnover for the same period last year. So if you look at it, March, for example, if your turnover in March 2020 was 30% less than your turnover in March 2019 uh, and you've got your own ABN, then you're eligible for $1,500 a fortnight. Um, now, if you fail it in March, you can have another crack at it in April. So um, if March was a good month, but then things fall off a cliff, unfortunately, in terms of turnover, then you're eligible next month and, and so on and so forth. Now it's backdated to 1st of March um, and, um, and they've put it in place for six months. So it um, could, be, could be a pretty good thing for people in your circumstance, like you mentioned, yeah. Yeah, oh, great advice and um, great that it's there. Dan Brown, what are you seeing right now? Who's ringing up and what sort of questions are they asking you? Yeah, that's a good question. So firstly, it would be the markets obviously have had a big impact on their account balances and they're asking, what do we do? And I guess uh, one is to talk to them about shifting, getting ready for what's coming because there will be a recovery. Um, we can't control the losses, but we can sort of manoeuvre or shift our focus to where we can hopefully be play playing the game in a few weeks' time or months' time. Second one would be obviously people trying to access their super. Uh, as soon as that was bandied around, inquiries went through the roof uh, from people I've never heard from before, all of a sudden I'm mates with. Um, so I guess the three rules are there, just to be really clear, you've either got a received a redundancy, you're now on Centrelink entitlement, or you've had a 20% reduction in your income, uh, or wait, or hours effectively, so your income's gone down 20%. You've got the ability to draw out $10,000 now, uh, and again in July, if you're still eligible. And I think that's a really, the point I want to make there on the the bonus tip if you like. Think about where the market is and this is a good time to get that money now or can you delay it a little bit longer? Um, because hopefully the, uh, if you're selling it, obviously when the market's right down as it is, it's obviously going to crystallise the losses that you've in, uh, incurred. Yeah, I hear you. So Tom Haig, well we're seeing um, in the media that there are many challenges facing business um, and, and obviously, you know, consumer sentiment. What are some of the opportunities um, you're seeing out there? Yeah, great question, Rosie. And I guess um, there's some opportunities that will present themselves certainly in the in the coming weeks, but also in, in sort of six months down the track. I think yeah. the full effects of, of what we're dealing with ultimately won't 
uh, be known until sort of that six month period. I think all of the stimulus, everything that's been announced in the way of support, incentives, seems to have that six month horizon to it. So I guess ultimately what everybody is, is, is looking at is, what does month seven look like? What does month eight look like? After all this, um, the dust settles on, um, you know, the impact of the pandemic. The, the, the situation for most, I guess, um, and Dan mentioned it in terms of crystallising those losses, anybody who moves forward and has to dispose of an asset, has to sell property right now, is ultimately going to crystallise a loss. There are less buyers in the market than there potentially are sellers. And as we know, uh, that has got a negative impact on pricing. So for anyone out there who can hold, that's the advice, you know, whether the storm get your way through it. But for those vendors who, who do need to sell, unfortunately, there, there are circumstances that will require that. Unfortunately, those vendors that are going to be selling at a discount and for, for buyers that are sitting on the sidelines with available cash, there are undoubtedly going to be some opportunities that will come out of this. Yeah, I think it's it, 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 correct in that we've all got to come up with a short-term plan and a long-term plan because there's things we've got to all keep our head above water right now, but there'll be definitely uh, other challenges and opportunities on the other side of this. So, guys, we've got to wrap it up. We're out of time, but quickly, just before we go, um, what's one piece of parting advice you can give us right now, Michael Hart? Oh, um, I think get help from your uh, professionals and associates. Uh, Work on your mindset and keep your mental health in check as well. Like um, yeah. you, you want to be uh, coming out of this strong and um, and there will be a way out and some opportunities there. So uh, that's probably the big one. Yeah. Go climb a mountain like you do, mate. Is that right? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Maybe not today. <laughs> Dan Brown, parting piece of advice. Uh, I'm going to aim at, at um, our business. We really, thought that, you know, implemented, a, I guess, a siege mentality. So what can we do right now that's going to influence the business to be here in two, three months, six months time. And rather than uh, everyone just waiting for someone else to do it, what can you do? So take, take responsibility and that probably can play out to your personal finances too. Um, that's probably the main thing. Absolutely. And Tom Hague from Capital Property. Yeah, Rosie, I guess for me, a big part of this is just um, avoiding being frozen by fear. There's so many people that are out there that are worried about what's going on, what's going on at the moment and what may happen in six months time but at the end of the day there are factors that we cannot control and there are things that we can control so worry about the things you can control take action get your affairs in order and use this opportunity use this time to your best advantage yeah i agree i mean you know we've all sang the song we're all in this together and uh we will come through i think if we just get a good team around us come up with a short-term vision and a long-term vision uh look for the opportunities amongst the uh you know the silver lining in the cloud so to speak because there will be some and, um, you know, just, just have faith that we'll get through this, um, maybe with a few bumps and bruises, but uh, we'll all get through on the other side. Yeah, yeah, great, Rosie. Well, team, thanks for joining us. I can't wait to catch up again very soon. I'm sure there'll be a whole bunch of new things to talk about. And uh, thanks for joining us on Why Invest, Five Tips to Thrive. Bye for now. Thanks, thanks for that.